Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we all remember the god-awful sex scene that was in the god-awful Halo show back in season one. That sex scene is gonna go down as one of the worst love-making scenes in the history of anything ever put to screen. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Like, seriously, if you want to know a good sex scene, go watch the first Terminator movie. I came across time for you, Sarah. I love you. I always have. And then fast forward today, we have Pablo Schreiber, who plays the iconic role of Jimmy Rings or Master Cheeks, because he sure as shit ain't playing Master Chief. In a weird, strange turn of events, he's come out and actually kind of bagged out that sex scene, saying it was a huge mistake. I think that's something we could all agree with. There's so many problems with this sex scene, even leading up to it. The fact that there's a human in the Covenant is just so incredibly stupid. I understand it's the silver timeline and it's its own canon and we can't judge it because it's its own canon. We can't compare it to Halo canon. But even within the silver timeline, it's still incredibly stupid. So on Planet Reach, on City Reach, yes, that's what they call it, it is still considered the second most important planet behind Earth, even in the silver timeline. And we have the UNSC captures this woman who they know is a Covenant spy at this stage, if I remember correctly. And they bring her in and they don't really search her because she has like an energy sword finger. They don't do anything to like make her life inconvenient except put her in a pretty nice room. Like seriously, if you're going to be walking her around in a very important place like this, couldn't you at least put a sack over the bitch's head or something like that? And then all of this ultimately leads to Master Cheeks going in to get some booty. Now while he may claim he's there to interrogate the prisoner, we all know the truth. I came looking for booty. So here we go. Master Cheeks actor Pablo Schreiber has issued a strongly worded comment on one of the most controversial scenes in Halo 1, insisting it was, quote, a huge mistake for the iconic super soldier to have sex. There's so much wrong with this whole thing. Like, seriously, we have Cortana cucked out watching them get it on. Just using your whole... <laughs> By the way, a female cuck is called a cuck queen. So going on, it says that in Halo Season 1, Master Cheeks has sex with a human covenant spy prisoner, Mackie, in a scene that sparked a lot of debate about just how far from the video games the live action TV show had veered. Halo fans were already put off by Master Cheeks removing his helmet in the show, something they once again upset about as we get into the launch of Season 2. And by the way, we have a really good video on the channel about Master Cheeks, Pablo Schreiber, insisting he takes off his helmet in this show. Be sure to check that out after this one. Anyway, continuing on. Master Chief's sex scene then pushed many hardcore fans of the video game over the edge. Here's what happens. The series has introduced a brand new character in Charlie Murphy's Mackie, a human who was kidnapped by the Covenant at a young age and elevated to a position of power within the alien society. I know it's the silver timeline, but that still is so incredibly stupid, a human in the Covenant. Ugh. John and Mackie are seemingly the only two beings in the galaxy who can interact with mysterious artifacts after experiencing a shared vision of a Halo station in episodes. Halo station? Did you mean a Halo ring? In episode 6, the two characters have sex in episode 8, and just to make things extra weird, Cortana is watching the whole time. Cut Queen. It's called a Cut Queen. But now, Pablo Schreiber has called into question the wisdom of the sex scene, suggesting a behind-the-scenes difference of opinion about Master Cheek's story. Quote, The decision to make a connection between Maki and John a romantic connection was a huge mistake, Schreiber told SFX Magazine via GamesRadar. It felt like it was a huge mistake at the time, and I argued against it, and I fought against it, but I am who I am, I don't write the scripts, I only give my opinion, and I wasn't listened to. Well, Pablo, if only you put up this much of a fight in regards to keeping the helmet on, or trying to keep this silver timeline at least somewhat recognisable to what Halo's supposed to be, but God forbid you have one of the most awful sex scenes, and this is the part that really grinds your gears, does it, Pablo? And what's even more interesting is going into season one, after every episode, well, sorry, as each episode premiered, Pablo was tweeting and promoting each episode. But when it got to this episode with the sex scene, not one peep from this episode. 
So is this just Pablo Schreiber realizing that in his last interview he really pissed off a lot of people when he was talking about why it's necessary for him to have the helmet off and he's just trying to gain back some goodwill? I do believe that he probably does think that this sex scene is kind of shit. I think most people think this sex scene is pretty cringy, honestly. In fact, I believe that most people involved with this show know that this is not a good show. When before the show even launches, you have Kiki Wolfkill come out and tell everyone that this show is not canon. You just sent signal waves to everybody that we really shouldn't be taking this show as serious as it should be, especially for a Halo show. So does this mean that Master Cheeks ain't gonna get any booty in Season 2? Well, I guess that's a downgrade for him? I came looking for booty. 